Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the best ever blondies. What in the world is a blondie? Well, it's similar to a brownie, but without the chocolate and add in extra blonde ingredients. This chewy dessert bar is one of my favorite indulgences, and it's super easy to make. Let me show you how. To start our blondies, we're going to take the butter in this recipe to the next level by browning it. And to do that, we add 10 <coughs> tablespoons of salted butter to a medium skillet over low medium heat. Let that get fully melted and gently stir. That butter is going to start to bubble up and we're going to watch for color, which takes about three to four minutes. Once that butter has deepened in color to a light brown and smells more nutty, it's time to remove it from the stove and let it fully cool. The butter is going to take about 10 minutes to cool down and then we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Add in our brown butter, or should I say dirty blonde butter, into a mixing bowl and add in one and a fourth a cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar. Thoroughly mix these ingredients together and it's going to look a bit like wet sand. Add into that four eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla. Go ahead and mix that for about one minute. I'm just mixing this by hand, but if you wanna use a hand mixer or a stand mixer, you can definitely do so, just don't over mix it. Next, add in one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder and give that a stir for about 30 seconds. Add in two cups of all-purpose flour, and then you're gonna stir that for about a minute until it's all combined. Now, if you want to add in white chocolate chips or chopped nuts, which I would suggest pecans or walnuts, I recommend about a cup of each. But you can still have absolutely delicious blondies, even if you don't add in those extras. Now that our mixture's all combined, we're gonna add this into a greased nine by 13 pan. Make sure to spread out that mixture fairly even. If you wanna use a smaller size pan and have thicker brownies, you're just gonna have to adjust the time. We have all of those tips and tricks over on our website. And then we're gonna pop that into our preheated oven, where they're going to bake for 35 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean from the center. Once they have cooled, slice them into those desired sizes and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.